God bless everyone. Today is 1 Kings 2, Sunday, January 31st, 2021. Yesterday we read 1 Kings 1, and it said, Adonijah tries to set himself as king. David makes Solomon king. It's a good reading today. I like I like today's reading. Exciting. Solomon's the man. They say Solomon's the man, like the wisest man. And Solomon is about to become king, so or Solomon is king now. Good stuff right here. One Kings two. David's charge to Solomon. Alright, under, under my likes, I highlighted the title. I highlighted David's charge to Solomon because this this whole paragraph, this whole chapter, little paragraph, I, I like. Some deep stuff right here. When the time drew near for David to die, he gave a charge to Solomon his son. I am about to go the way of all the earth, he said. Under my likes, I highlighted, I am about to go the way of all the earth. He's saying he's about to die, and I like how he says it, you know? That's a good way to say you're about to die. Like, I am about to go the way of all the earth, he said. So be strong, act like a man, and observe what the Lord your God requires. Walk in obedience to him, and keep his decrees and commands, his laws and regulations, as written in the law of Moses. All right, under my likes, I highlighted. So be strong, act like a man, and observe what the Lord your God requires. Walk in obedience to Him, and keep His decrees and commands, His laws and regulations. Do this so that you may prosper in all you do and wherever you go, and that the Lord may keep His promise to me. If your descendants watch how they live, and if they walk faithfully before me with all their heart and soul, you will never fail to have a successor on the throne of Israel. All right, under my likes, I highlighted. Do this so that you may prosper in all you do and wherever you go, and that the Lord may keep his promise. Now yourself, now you yourself know that Joab, son of Zeruiah, or now you yourself know what Joab, son of Zeruiah, did to me. What he did to the two commanders of Israel's armies, Abner, son of Ner, and Amasa, son of Jether. He killed them, shedding their blood in peacetime as if in battle. And with that blood he stained the belt around his waist and the sandals on his feet. Deal with him according to your wisdom. But do not let his gray head go down to the grave in peace. Alright, under my likes, I'm going to highlight. Deal with him according to your wisdom. But now, but, or, but show kindness to the sons of Barzillai of Gilead and let them be among those who eat at your table. They stood by me when I fled from your brother Absalom. And remember, you, ha you have with you Shemaia, or Shemai, son of Gera, the Benjamite from Buhar Buhurim, who called down bitter curses on me the day I went to Mahanaim. When he came down to meet me at the Jordan, I swore to him by the Lord, I will not put you to death by the sword. But now, do not consider him innocent. You are a man of wisdom. You will know what to do to him. Bring his gray head down to the grave in blood. Alright, under my likes, I'm going to highlight. You are a man of wisdom. You will know what to do to him. Then David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. All right, under my likes, I highlighted. Then David rested with his ancestors and was buried in the city of David. 
I like that because instead of saying he died, it's saying he's resting with his ancestors. That's a good, that's deep, you know? He's not, he didn't just die. He's resting with his ancestors. He had reigned 40 years over Israel, seven years in Hebron and 33 in Jerusalem. So Solomon sat on the throne of his father David and his rule was firmly established. Solomon's throne established. All right, under my likes, I highlighted Solomon's throne established. Because this whole, this whole reading is good right here. Now Adonijah, the son of Haggith, went to Bathsheba, Solomon's mother. Bathsheba asked him, do you come peacefully? He answered, yes, peacefully. Then he added, I have something to say to you. You may say it, she replied. As you know, he said, the kingdom was mine. All Israel looked to me as their king, but things changed, and the kingdom has gone to my brother, for it has come to him from the Lord. Under my likes I highlighted, for it has come to him from the Lord. Now I have one request to make of you. Do not refuse me. You may make it, she said. So he continued, Please ask King Solomon, he will not refuse you, to give me Abishag the Shunammite as my wife. Very well, Bathsheba said, or Bathsheba replied, I will speak to the king for you. When Bathsheba went to King Solomon to speak to him for Adonijah, the king stood up to meet her, bowed down to her and sat down on his throne. He had a throne brought for the king's mother, and she sat down at his right hand. I have one small request to make of you, she said. Do not refuse me. The king replied, Make it, my mother. I will not refuse you. So she said, Let Abishag the Shunammite be given in marriage to your brother Adonijah. King Solomon answered his mother, Why do you request Abishag the Shunammite? For Adonijah, you might as well request the kingdom for him. After all, he is my older brother. Yes, for him and for Abiathar the priest and Joab son of Zeruiah. Then King Solomon swore by the Lord, May God deal with me, be it ever so severely, if Adonijah does not pay with his life for this request. And now, as surely as the Lord lives, he who has established me securely on the throne of my father David and has founded a dynasty for me as he promised. Adonijah shall be put to death today. So King Solomon gave orders to Benaiah son of Jehoiada and he struck down Adonijah and he died. To Abiathar the priest the king said, Go back to your fields in, in Anatot. You deserve to die, but I will not put you to death now, because you carried the ark of the sovereign Lord before my father David and shared all my father's hardships. So Solomon removed Abiathar from the priesthood of the Lord, fulfilling the word the Lord had spoken at Shiloh about the house of Eli. All right, under my likes I highlighted, fulfilling the word the Lord had spoken. When the news reached Joab, who had conspired with Adonijah, though not with Absalom, he fled to the tent of the Lord and took hold of the horns of the altar. King Solomon was told that Joab had fled to the tent of the Lord and was beside the altar. Then Solomon ordered Benaiah son of Jehoiada, Go, strike him down. So Benaiah entered the tent of the Lord and said to Joab, the king says, Come out. But he answered, No, I will die here. Benai reported to the king, This is how Joab answered me. Then the king commanded Benaiah, Do as he says, strike him down and bury him, and so clear me and my whole family of the guilt of the innocent blood that Joab shed. The Lord will repay him for the blood he shed. Because without my father David knowing, 
Knowing it, he attacked two men and killed them with the sword. Both of them, Abner son of Ner, commanders of Israel's army, and Amasa son of Jether, commander of Judah's army, were better men and more upright than he. May the guilt of their blood rest on the head of Joab and his descendants forever. But on David and his descendants, his house and his throne, may there be the, may there be the Lord's peace forever. All right, under my likes, I highlight it. May there be the Lord's peace forever. So Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, went up and struck down Joab and killed him. And he was buried at his home out in the country. The king put Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, over the army in Joab's position and replaced Abiathar with Zodok, with Zadok the priest. Then the king sent for Shimei and said to him, Build yourself a house in Jerusalem and live there, but do not go anywhere else. The day you leave and cross the Kidron Valley, you can be sure you will die. Your blood will be on your own head. Shimei answered the king, What you say is good. Your servant will do as my, your servant will do as my lord the king has said. And Shimei stayed in Jerusalem for a long time. But three years later, two of Shimei's slave ra slaves ran off to Achish, son of Maka, king of Gath. And Shimei was told, Your slaves are in Gath. At this he saddled his donkeys and went to Achish at Gath in search of his slaves. So Shimei went away and brought the slaves back from Gath. When Solomon was told that Shimei had gone to Jerusalem to Gath, or had gone from Jerusalem to Gath and had returned, the king summoned Shimei and said to him, Did I not make you swear by the Lord and warn you? On the day you leave and or on the day you leave to go elsewhere, anywhere else, you can be sure you will die. At that time you said to me, What you say is good. I will obey. Why then did you not keep your oath to the Lord and obey the command I gave you? The king also said to Shimei, You know in your heart all the wrong you did to my father David. Now the Lord will repay you for your wrongdoing. But King Solomon will be blessed, and David's throne will remain secure before the Lord forever. Then the king gave the order to Benaiah, son of Jehoiada, and he went out and struck Shimei down, and he died. The kingdom was now established in Solomon's hands. God is good all the time, even when we don't understand. Amen.